Alright, welcome back everyone. Um, in this tutorial we're going to create a little UI dropdown that will replace this in editor dropdown that lets us choose which achievements to show. So for starters, I'm going to go ahead to canvas and create a new UI dropdown. Then I'm going to move it up out of the way a little bit. And then I'm going to go to our scripts and create a new C sharp script. I'm going to call this one um, dropdown controller. And then once it compiles, I'm going to select drop down and drag our controller on it. Go ahead and open it up. And uh, again, because we're going to be using some UI stuff in the Unity Engine.UI namespace, um, more specifically, we're going to be using the drop down UI element. So I'm going to create this little drop down. UI um, field. Now, I'm also going to create a getter for it. I'm going to leave it private. And inside here, we're going to check if dropdown is null. That way, um, if we, for example, for some reason need to call a function on this in the editor, we can always get the dropdown without uh, waiting for the awake method to be called. So if the M dropdown is null, we can call get component dropdown, which again, we can guarantee that this isn't null by adding a attribute that says require component type of dropdown. And then we want to return our dropdown. So what is it? Whoops. Supposed to be only one equal sign. There we go. So now I'm gonna create a new public function called uh, update options. And basically this function will go through and uh, change all of these options right here to match uh, our achievements so first thing first we want to access that drop down and the options and want to clear them all so we're not just constantly adding new options next there's this uh, class the enum class it's inside system it has a function called get values and you can pass in a type of enum so for example we'll pass in our achievements enum and they'll give us back an array of all the possible values. So I'm just going to say val um, values equals or var values equals to whatever this returns. So now we have a list of all the possible enum um, available. Next thing, we want to loop over each of those. So I'm going to achievements achieve and values we're gonna loop through every single one of them and for simplicity all we're gonna do is do drop down dot options dot add and we're gonna add a new option called new drop down option data and this takes in a sprite or just a string and what we're gonna do is actually just convert the achievement you know to string and that's basically all we're gonna do for that now to test it I'm actually gonna add a context menu to it and call this update options and this is the reason we had to go about getting the M drop down this way because the awake method will never be called to set the M drop down so we have to do it inside the getter so now if I go back to um, Unity, wait for it to compile, and then when I right click, I have this update options method now. When I run it, we get two new options hello world and uh, goodbye. If I hit play, you'll see that the options are updated. But I did forget one thing um, after we do that, we want to call dropdown.refresh shown value. Now, um, 
there's gonna be one more thing we want to create a public uh, unity um, let's go to unity event actually no let's just go public action and it's gonna take achieve and it's um, and call this on on value changed so this is going to get called whenever the drop downs uh, value gets changed and uh, we can hook that up in our private void start function which basically is going to listen to our drop downs on value changed and uh, call this method so we need to create a little handler for this so I'm going to call it handle that drop down value changed and now we need to create this method a function there we go and then inside here all we're going to do is check if on value changed is not null then we want to execute it um, also this takes in an int which is going to be the new value so the error is now gone but on value change takes in an achievement type and all we have to do is simply cast our index to achievement or cast our value to the achievements and again because they're basically synonymous it will work this way now the last step is in our achievement manager class we want to get access to the achievement drop down controller and then in our private void start I want the achievement drop down controller on value changed I want to add a new function that's going to say handle achievement drop down value changed um, I'm going to go ahead and create that function private void and again remember it takes in a achievements type achievements and once this is called all we want to do is change this achievement to show to whatever they passed us in whoops there we go so again Whenever the on value triggered on value event gets triggered by in the drop down, it's gonna call this handle drop down value, which will then convert the int value to an achievement, and then the achievement manager will also update its achievement to show. So when we call notification, it will get updated. So if we go into Unity now, and if everything is set up, um, again, we can refresh the update options then hit play if I select the manager and look here it says hello world but if I change it to goodbye I don't know if that's gonna refresh or not and it does not because I forgot to drag or drop down in here alright so now that we have it connected in theory if I change this to goodbye this also gets changed you can change this to hello world this gets changed and again the notification also works alright um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'll see you in the next one